Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm showing you the state of my pantry and freezer after my eight week pantry and freezer challenge. Now, what you're seeing is how things looked before I got started. Things were totally in disarray. I didn't try to, you know, make it look pretty for the cameras. I wanted you to see how things actually looked. So now let's see if I made any progress. Okay, so we'll start with the pantry and I am giving you an overview right now. And then I'll get in a little bit closer so you all can see things a little bit better. So I'll start off at the top. Um, still got some canned goods. I've got some pinto beans. Um, we've got some crackers up there, some snack food items. And then I have my jarred sauces like spaghetti sauce and other types of sauce. Um, Howard's cashews are right there that he loves so much from Costco. On this shelf, I have lots and lots of condiments. And um, as you can see, I've got some Velveeta cheese. I've got some Eagle brand cheese whiz, some evaporated milk. I know you can't see it back there, but it's just condiments, barbecue sauces, um, nut butters, things like that. Now I will say for the pantry, um, we did eat a lot, but also I cleaned out the pantry. There is a website that I use and it tells you how good food is past the expiration date. So I use that in my decision making. Um, to get rid of some of the things that I had that were just, you know, expired. But a lot of it we ate, and of course, as you can see, we're still going to be eating a lot of it. Um, on this third shelf, I have um, tomato-based products like uh, Rotel, enchilada sauce, and then I have my Campbell's condensed soups. I've got green chilies, and then I've got beans, green beans, corn, that type of thing. On this fourth shelf, I've got um, some breakfast stuff, or not necessarily breakfast, but oats, um, waffle mix. Uh, on this shelf, I have a lot of my Asian type of cooking sauces and things. Um, everything from chili sesame oil to right back there, you see some shallot sauce. I've got um, some salt. I've got uh, boxes of pasta that wouldn't fit on my little pasta shelf, which I'll show you in a second. Some Trader Joe's uh, spiced chai concentrate down here. And I do not have matching baskets. I wasn't gonna spend any money to um, work on this pantry. So I use what I have. But in this basket, I have pasta. As you can see, I have tons and tons of pasta. I've got some granola right there, some popcorn. And then in this basket, I always tell you all, I have so many packets of, of food items. And this is what's in that basket. You know, I've got carne asada stuff. I've got lots of Asian mixes. Um, you all, y'all can see back there. Just miscellaneous stuff that I really need to get organized and use, but it's all here in this basket. One of my favorite barbacoa sauces. Um, this bag is just a bunch of different kinders type seasoning mixes, meatloaf seasoning, Mexican seasoning, you name it. So like I said, tons and tons of stuff in this basket. And then down here on the floor, we've got sparkling juices, we've got juice for Harrison, a bag of garbage bags. I think my mom made me this to put, um, what are those things called? Like uh, grocery sacks in there, so that's in there. Down here in that basket, I've got popcorn and then dried beans. So again, a lot of stuff as you can see. So let me show you the door. Now, that top shelf, it's a bunch of onion soup, but it's not just onion soup, it's different flavors. And usually I'll buy two of something. So like beefy onion soup or vegetable soup or whatever. So that's what's up there. Noodle soup, as you can see some Italian seasoning packages. That second shelf, um, just some candy miscellaneous things in a basket. Drink mixes, tea, some food dye. 
right here. I have a bunch of chili. These are different chilies. Did y'all know Tony Sasseri's made of chili? So I've got some chili mix there. Um, let's see, over here, these are like little drink mixes, some uh, peanut butter and jelly covered raisins. Right here, I have a bunch of like stir-in paste. And these haven't been opened, that's why they're on the shelf. This shelf, again, just miscellaneous stuff. I need to, like I said, get it better organized. Um, but like supplement drops, throat drops, things like that, cough drops. Uh, some uh, cup of soup down here. I got a bunch of oils and spray oils. I have some corn syrup as well. And then down here, miscellaneous stuff. Again, it's not organized. And then down here is mostly like um, breadcrumbs, salt, stuff like that. I have a chai latte that I need to fit or put somewhere else. So this is the pantry. Let me show you my cabinet. Okay, so here's that pantry inside my kitchen. I know it still looks full, but believe you me, I did work through a lot of that stuff. So on the top shelf, there is no longer food up there. And it, I did have food in there before, but again, we ate through stuff. And this is what happens when you don't know what's in your pantry and you keep buying stuff. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of boxes of that Kraft Spaghetti mix that I discovered during a, um, I did this video on like cheap store-bought dinner mixes and I discovered how much I loved it. I'll link it in the description box so you can check it out. And then I went crazy buying it because I loved it so much. Like macaroni and cheese, Jiffy cornbread, stuff like that. Um, this shelf is just baking mixes and I did go through a bunch of that, cookie mixes, things like that. And then on the bottom shelf, we've got... Um, let me see. So like rice aroni and stuff is back there. Velveeta, like macaroni and cheese, you name it, rice, etc. Got Kool-Aid packages. Again, this is not that organized, but I wanted to be, you know, give you a real life, you know, look at what it looks like right now. All right. So next, let's go to the inside freezer. Okay. So here's the inside freezer. And I made a lot of progress in this freezer. And let me tell you, you are gonna hear it beep, like once the door is open too long, the alarm's gonna go off. So you're gonna hear it beep, and I'm sorry about that. But um, this top shelf, again, it's not the best organized, but I did, you know, what I could. So this top shelf is basically like sweets and things. You've got Howard's ice cream. He loves this Haagen-Dazs uh, rum tres leches. Got ice cream bars, just dessert type stuff. This second shelf is just kind of uh, prepared food. You can see we've got some shrimp bites. We've got some bear nuggets back there. And then we have this stuff in here. These are chicken meatballs. And then this shelf is mostly meat stuff. So that's a ham bone right here, bacon. That's some cooked ground beef in the back. Bunch of pepperoni, but basically just meat products. You got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, and down here, down here, excuse me, um, bread products. So I've got pie crust, um, pizza crust, pizza dough. My mom made dressing over the holid holidays, and this is the raw dressing before it's baked. Um, she gave it to me in a Ziploc bag. So that's bag, so that's down there. Um, rolls bread dough, you name it. And in these shelves, um, oh, that's in the wrong place. This is meat, which should be up there, but just like vegetables. Really, that's not it. French fries, just veggies and things like that. And then cheeses, you know. So that's there. And then in the side here, again, it needs to be organized, but cheeses, cheeses and nuts and things. All right, so let's go outside to the outside freezer or garage freezer. Okay, so here is the garage freezer and it still looks pretty packed, even though we have been eating a lot out of it. So let me jump in. Again, you'll probably hear the alarm because the door is open. Um, so right here in the uh, door, we've got some sausage, butter, um, what's this? We've got some shrimp, smoked sausage, 
and what is that? Oh, that's a roast. A roast that wouldn't fit in my roast drawer, which I'll show you in a second. So on this very top shelf, all poultry products, chicken, um, chicken meatballs. We've got chicken tenders, chicken wings, you name it. I put it all in one place so that'd be easier to um, find what I'm looking for. And this drawer is mostly like sausages. So different types of sauces. We've also got some bacon in there too, but all sorts of stuff is in there. This shelf is prepared stuff um, and also pie crust. So there's pie crust in there. There is like chimichangas, my favorite taco shells that I eat all the time. Pizzas are down there too. These Trader Joe's kebabs, which I really want to try though. I mean, you name it, all sorts of stuff is in this small second shelf. This third shelf, that's all pork. Um, tons and tons of pork all in there. Everything from um, pork steaks, shaved pork, Italian sausage, um, smoked ham hocks, you name it, it's in there. This bottom shelf is beef. Um, ground beef, we have oxtail, we've got, I don't know what that is. These are our short ribs that I love so much that I tell you that I buy them on sale, then I put them in marinade and throw them in the freezer. That's what these are. Oops, we have a couple of uh, bags of that. And in this drawer in the freezer, we've got roast. Pork roast, beef roast, you name it. Actually, that roast that's here can fit in that drawer. I'm not sure why it's not in there. But anyway, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed this follow-up video. As you can see, I've still got a lot of food to go through, even though I'm not going to be doing an official pantry freezer challenge. I'm still gonna be working on stuff. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.